Hi everyone, it's Lonnie, and we're back with another prompt for Bible Journal in May. And the prompt for today is Mount or Mountains. So I came across this thing called Bible Quilting, and I saw a bunch of pictures on Pinterest. And basically, it's um, chopping up your page, well, not chopping it, but dividing it, dividing your page into s shapes and sections. And then you just write um, scripture in the little sections. It can get quite busy, so I just wanted to like do a simplified um, version of that. So I picked out these verses. And let's see what they say. There's Psalm 90, verse 2. Before the mountains were born, or you brought forth the whole world from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken but endures forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people both now and forevermore. That's Psalm 125, verses 1 and 2. Let me just clip this back so you can stay out of the way, hopefully. Send me your light and your faithful care. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Psalm 43, verse 3. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. Psalm 95, verse 3 and 4. His lightning lights, lights up the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. Psalm 97, verse 4 and 5. He set the earth on its foundations. It can never be moved. You covered it with the watery depths as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. Psalm 104, verse 5 and 6. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He who looks at the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Psalm 104, verses 31 through 33. So I did this and it turns out it looks a little bit like a house. So I'm going to ink the edges and then I'll see what I do from there. Okay, what I think I wanna do is give it some background. I think I'm going to opt for stenciling because it won't take very long to dry. So it'll be kind of like this tree is in the back of the house. I should do it with like a green or something. Oh, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'll do it brown for the, for the trunk and the stems and branches and that. I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom of the page because I want this to look like it's kind of behind the house. Let's see. Well, that might work. All right. Let's put 
that there and then we'll do this you can see that okay So that's the roof and then that's the front of the house something like that so then I just need my I'm gonna glue it down before I change my mind. Let's do this one first. I remember the first time, or one of the first times, I read this about, um, yeah, the mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth I got a visual and I, I just pictured, you know, the mountains behaving like wax. And I was like, wow, that's, that would be amazing to see. <laughs> and then the part where he touches the mountains and they smoke. He doesn't even need to touch them, he just speak. After all, that's how he created everything. He spoke. Okay, that's a little off, but At first I was going to do like quilting sewing lines with my pen, but I think I'm going to just um, amplify the fact that there's a tree behind the house. Then I will just kind of roughly add some leaves. And I need a little more water. I'm not gonna worry too much about uh, shape, just get the idea. Yeah, so with this design, it would be easy to get carried away. I think not that you can get a not that you can get carried away adding too much scripture. I'm just saying for the page and for your eyes to be able to see all the things. Uh, for mine eyes, at least, it's uh, they have trouble focusing when there's too much. So. I just thought that would be enough. I could have written smaller. I could have crammed it full, but I just wanted some. I could always do another page. But yeah, that's what I have for today. And, um,. Again, I think these are all out of the NIV. Sorry, I didn't write that down anywhere. But when I'm searching for verses on my phone, I don't always catch what version it's from. Especially if I'm looking for a prompt word, then I might flip between versions and translations to get the, um, to get the word. 
Anyways, so today's prompt was mount or mountain. All right. So thanks for joining me and we will see you again next time. Bye for now.